Aloha. 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 My name is Irina. And I'm Devon. We started full-time traveling in 2018, but once we got to Hawaii, we could not leave for a year. In that period of time, we had produced so many vlogs on the Hawaiian Islands. Big Island, Maui, and here on Oahu. We've covered things like places to go, things to see, where to eat, best beaches, so much more. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification because there are gonna be so much more videos coming out. That's right, and you wanna be the first to know when it does. In this vlog, you will learn everything about Hawaiian leis. Where to get them. What is a lei? The significance of a lei. How to properly lay someone. How to properly maintain your lei. And how to discard a lei. All coming up right now. As you might have guessed, a lei is a necklace made out of fresh flowers, like the ones that we are wearing, but also could be made out of feathers, stones, uh, even seeds and nuts. Lace used to be worn by Hawaiian royalty, and the more elaborate and fancy the lace were, the higher royalty status was. Now, lace are given as a symbol of love, respect, and affection. It's commonly worn for ceremonies such as weddings, uh, graduations, birthdays, birthdays, or even funerals. Now let's talk about how to properly lay someone. But before we go there, there are two important things we wanted to cover. Number one, it is bad luck to lay yourself. And the second one, it's actually rude to reject a lay. It's the same as if someone is giving you a bouquet of flowers out of love, respect, and affection, and you say, no, I don't want your flowers. It's considered very rude. Right, right, exactly. So now to get into the laying someone and the proper way to do so, as you saw in the beginning of the video, the proper way to do it is actually not to put the lay around the, the, around the neck and have it really tight on the back of the neck and draped down like you would say a chain that you would wear, but it's more laid a little bit back. So it, it creates like a little loop behind the neck and then it lays roughly on the shoulders so it doesn't come all the way up like this but more so on the shoulder on the shoulders like this mm -hmm. so when you come to hawaii and maybe you order a lay greeting don't be surprised that they want to put the lay on you and another very important thing don't be surprised by a kiss after somebody put a lay on you that's right we did the kiss on the lips, normally it is given on, on the, the cheeks. cheeks. There are two types of lays. A closed lay, like the one that we are wearing, and an open lay. An open lay you will see uh, commonly made out of tea leaf or miley leaf. It is considered bad luck to wear a closed lay if you're pregnant. Hawaiians believe that whatever is on mother's neck is on the baby's neck. So if a mother is wearing a closed lay, they consider it, it's choking the baby. Therefore, pregnant women are usually laid with open lays as opposed to closed lays. You might have seen on some Hawaiian wedding photos where a groom is wearing a lush, fluffy green open lay, sometimes incorporated with white flowers. Those green leaves are called miley leaves, and it used to be very common in Hawaii. However, unfortunately, now it is very rare to find miley leaves, and that's why those types of lays are very expensive. That is why it has been substituted by the green tea leaf. It is affordable and readily available. Of course, it does not look as lush, but it's a nice and stylish and classy green woolen string, sometimes mixed with crown flowers. Hawaiians have a tradition of hanging tea leaf lays over the frames of their door or sometimes even in their cars. The significance of it is? It helps to keep the bad out and invite the good in. It's a way of blessing. 
Another popular lei you will find every and anywhere is the kukui nut lei. Kukui in Hawaiian means lamp or light. In English, it just means candle nut tree. In ancient Hawaiians used to use kukui nut oil for lighting. Kukui nut oil also has a lot of antioxidants and often used in lotions. That's why kukui nut lays are very significant for Hawaiians. Orchid lays, the ones that we are wearing right now, they come in three different colors. Deep purple, purple and white, like on our lays, and plain white. Orchids do not have any smell. That's why if you have an allergy, perhaps, it is safer to wear Orchid lay. Another reason why orchids lay are so popular is because they last the longest. They are harder flowers, so they last four to five days with proper care, of course. Let's talk plumeria lays. They are so fragrant, and because they're so fragrant, they are so fragile. They only last two to three days. They do come in a variety of colors. So many, it's just mind blowing. Plumerias primarily bloom in summer and the more colorful the flower is, the hotter the weather must be. So in the winter time, you will see mostly white plumerias. Color plumerias do not blossom in the winter. The, you will see actually empty trees, empty branches. It is so funny when we first came here, we see like Wild. Trees with no leaves, no branches. Yeah, just... like what's going on with these guys? <laughs> Are they dead or what? <laughs> no, they're just resting and getting ready for their beautiful blossoms in the summer. If you come to Waikiki in winter time, you might notice mostly white plumerias. The reason why it is, it's that again, white plumerias do blossom in the winter and they want to give you more aloha spirit by having flowers around and in the winter not too many flowers blossom here in hawaii so to create that aloha spirit for you they purposely planted white plumerias in the waikiki so you get more flowers around you during winter season and white uh, plumerias actually are not as fragrant as other colors it is a common misconception about getting a lei when you arrive in the airport in Hawaii. Automatically. Yes. We see it in movies, we see it in shows all the time, but that's not the way it works. It is so funny, when we first arrived uh, on our vacation here in Hawaii, uh, we got our luggage and Devon is like, wait, how come we didn't get the lei? <laughs> and the Where same thing with uh, Devon's friend when he came to visit. If you want that experience of get, being greeted with the lay right at the airport, you can actually order it online. It does not come automatically, you do have to pay for it. A lay orchid greeting, for example, costs around $30 per person. You can order it online, for example, on Expedia, after purchasing your ticket, they have some upsell options like uh, transportation and they have this option for lay greeting. Or I will also leave a link in the description for the website where they do lay greetings at airports on all the islands. So where else can you get a lay if not at the airport? Well, supermarkets that have a flower section for one, uh, pharmacies, a lot of pharmacies and even ABC stores have a little refrigerator section where you can purchase fresh flower lace. Be aware that if you do purchase a lay in supermarkets or like ABC stores you see everywhere, some of these lays are sprayed with a dye. So the dye is liable to get on your clothes and kind of discolor your clothes. So just know to be aware and ask before purchasing the lay whether they are dyed or not. Here in Hawaii, there are actually specialized lei flower stores where you can select fresh lace. They make it right there fresh every day and they have different types of flowers and different designs and different prices, of course. Sometimes you can also get a lei greeting at your resort. 
So email your resort and ask if it's something complimentary or you would have to pay for it. When we traveled to Big Island, we stayed at Marriott Resort and we were greeted with a Shelley for free. And here in Waikiki, we also see some resorts greet their guests upon arrival with the fresh flower orchid lace. When you visit the Polynesian Center, you are also greeted. When we went, we were actually greeted twice. We were laid twice. When you first get there and you get in your group, they gave us a kukui nut lay mm -hmm. at the very beginning and we toured the facility. And just before we went into the luau, the luau we were greeted with a fresh, a orchid, fresh lay. orchid lay. Uh, actually, uh, um, most of the luau's uh, have a orchid greeting lay. Uh, when we went to a luau on the Big Islands, they also gave us a lay. And uh, other people that we were talking to, they said when they went to the luau, they were greeted with the lay. So when you look at your luau package, if you are planning to go for one, just see if a fresh lay greeting is listed on your package. Some restaurants also offer lays. Mostly tourist restaurants. Right, such as Hula Grill and Duke's. These are two restaurants we know personally. Located in Waikiki. In Waikiki, of course. At a certain time, I would say maybe mm. in the evening times, there would be someone there with a table and they would have their lays for sale and they'll actually be making it right there so you can actually purchase it. And you know for sure it is fresh flowers and they, they don't spray it with color. Right. Another place that we sometimes find uh, lays is actually on the beach. If you go for an evening stroll around uh, Hilton Hawaiian Village in Waikiki, you will see locals offering you fresh flower lays for purchase. And that's also in the evening time. You really don't see them out during the daytime. It's only at, during mm -hmm. sunset you will see them. And another way to get a free lay is to, to make, make it, it yourself. yourself. <laughs> Royal Hawaiian Resort offers free cultural classes. One of them is lay making. Mm -hmm. You will be provided with fresh flowers, a specialized needle, and the teacher, which is kumu in Hawaiian, will teach you not only how to make a lei, but it's more of an educational class. You will learn about Hawaiian culture, Hawaiian words. It's a lot of fun. The uh, class lasts one hour, but to make leis will probably take you about 10, 10 or 15 minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. Just be sure to arrive 30 to 45 minutes before Early. the class starts. They only allow 25 guests per class and first the come, seats first serve. get filled really fast. The right. last time we came, we came 30 minutes before and there were only like four cheers left. Right, so uh, uh, prepare to arrive early. And not only that, it's in the, Hawaii, in the Hawaiian Cultural Center. It's located on the second floor, but there are different courts. So it'd be A, B and C. Buildings. The buildings. And sometimes, you know, they're connected by stairs and escalators. And sometimes you can't access one building unless you go down and come back up to the second one. So it's kind of confusing. So give yourself enough time because you'll probably get lost in that building. It's a very simple, straightforward building, but there's a lot of ups and downs in the way they're connecting connected makes them confusing. So you probably just have to ask someone in a store or something and find your way to the area where they are actually doing the lay classes. Now let's talk about how to take care of these beauties. Once you purchase your lay and you get home to your hotel, to your Airbnb, whatever it might be, you want to wrap the lay in a paper towel, damp, not wet, just damp, and then in a plastic bag and you place it in the refrigerator. Not the freezer and not the actual refrigerator, but the door because the door is the warmest out of the entire refrigerator. That's where you would store it. If you try to put it in the refrigerator, it becomes... If it's too cold or slimy. it's too uh, wet, it, it turns the flowers turn slimy. Right. So after a while of having your lays, they do kind of wilt at different times because there are different flowers on them. So as they wilt, here's a tip, and this is a good one. This is how you make it last Longer. longer yes so as they will you will take them off as you take them off the lay will become naturally smaller so what you want to do is take off all the wilted lays and you make a headband out of it 
that would be the next step. So from the necklace, it goes into a headband. As it begins to wilt and more flowers begin to come off, like this, you, then you uh, put them together to get rid right. of the holes get rid of all the the loose ends and then you tie it and then it goes around the wrist and then you have it for the wrist so it goes from a necklace to a headband to a wristband or maybe an ankle band or it can go right as an anklet so there you go one leg can last you in two different ways three different ways and besides the fact that different flowers last uh, different amount of times it is also really hot here in Hawaii so if you are uh, going on a tour and run, being on the sun all day you might notice your lay might go bad in just one day it's because of the body heat and the heat from the sun right This is another way to wear flowers in your hair. There is actually significance on how you put your flower in your hair. If you wear it on the left side, that means you are taken, it is closer to your heart. And if you wear it on the right side, you are available. And if you wear it center, well, you don't know. Your guess. <laughs> it actually used to be a uh, Hawaiian tradition to wear flowers in the hair for men. And later on, women adopted it. Now let's talk about properly discarding the lei. You don't throw it in the garbage like you think you probably would do. That is not the proper way to do so. What you do is you take all the wilted flowers and give it to the sea. Just be sure not to throw the string from the lay into the ocean. You can put the string in the garbage. Right. Or another way is uh, by giving kind of an offering to uh, statues or sacred stones. As you walk around, you will see uh, lays placed on specific areas. Right, especially Duke statue. There are tons of lays on his arm and around his neck. So that's another place you could put it. Just to backtrack slightly, the reason, and you probably guessed, but I think it needs to be elaborated on a little bit more. The reason you don't want to throw the string into the ocean is because the marine life. You don't want these strings and fishing lines to get caught up on the sea turtles and on fishes. It's just not a good thing. We've seen enough videos going around where you know, sea animals are just being choked to death because of fishing lines and fishing nets and everything like that. So definitely just take the flowers off and those go into the ocean. The other one goes into the garbage. The cost of a lei depends on the material used to make the lei and also the intricacy of how the lei is made. Some leis are super expensive. <laughs> goes up to $3,000 for one lei. Imagine, guys. Yeah, it, it, some of them were made out of peacock feathers and rare seeds, seeds that are fuzzy and so, it's just... The lei is called velvet. Yes. And the seed actually feels like a velvet. Like velvet. So it's, it, it's made out of tiny seeds and it's about four or five layers thick and they're Strings. woven into each other. And it's a seed, but the outside of the seed is Kind of like if you covered Furry. a seed in, in velvet and, and felt it, that's the way it felt like. And it's rare. It's called a forever lay. It lasts forever. It does not die. It's amazing. The Hawaiians take pride in their lay. The way it's woven, the materials used, they get so creative with it. Their Designs competitions. are crazy. Yes. So on what day is it? The lay day is on... May day. May day. First, the May. first day of May <laughs> is called... Mayday. Lady Mayday. Lady we made Mayday. it. <laughs> <laughs> On that day, the, every year they hold uh, lay making competitions where hundreds of people submit their lays uh, using different ways to actually incorporate flowers into their lays. Mm -hmm. And when the competition just started years ago, the prize was only $75. Now the grand prize is. $500. Last year on May 1st, we went to Kapiolani Park to celebrate Lay Day. 
with everybody else and they actually have a line for two hours just to go see the types of lay submitted for the competition. Right, they, the line would just wrap around and around and around and what they did was they put the lays all in a row and they showed who made the lay and what the lays made out, a little bit of history about the lay. A lot of performances are being held that day right in the Capellani Park on the open stage. Right, with a beautiful backdrop of Diamond Head. And of course, there are a lot of vendors out there with food and drinks. It's pretty awesome. We have done so much research preparing for this vlog and spoke to many locals about their traditions of lay makings and the meaning of lays for them. This way we can bring all the useful information for you. So if you have enjoyed learning about lays, we would really appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos, tips, and useful information. Absolutely. If you have a friend that you think would be interested in this vlog or any one of our other Hawaiian vlogs, be sure to share it with them. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And so would we, for sure. Mahalo for watching. And as always, just, just be, be out, out with us. us.